this video, we are going to look at the biped character in Cinema 4D's Character Builder, both the advanced and the simple version. So to create your character, you go up to Character, and then Character. And then finally enough, Character is created in the Objects Manager. Down the bottom in the Attributes Manager, we should have the Object and Build tabs selected, and you can see the template of which we can use. If I just drop down, we're going to go through each one of those in each of the separate videos, and I'm just going to choose Biped for this one, okay? And then I'm going to click Root. That gives me my main controller, which allows me to move wherever it is that I want it to go, and then it's Root, which generally is its hips. Then you've got the options for the components to create. If you click and hold on the little component tab there underneath, you've got a choice between IK and FK. That's uh, forward kinematics or inverse kinematics. For this one, I'm going to choose forward kinematics, which means that if I wanted to rotate each of these, I would have to do it from the base up, okay? Now with the spine selected, you can see that the components I have available to me are the head, arms, and legs. I'm just going to create the head just simply by clicking head and there we go we've got the head component there ready with its um, rotational axis and with the head selected I've got access to the jaw so now if I press jaw it creates just one last little joint there if I zoom in and have a look you can see that we've got something that can use as a jaw later on depending on what your character is going to be if I go back to the spine, so where I can create the arms, again, I've got a choice between the IK and FK arms. For this one, I'm going to choose um, FK arms, just so you can see what it is. And if I hold down control before I let go, you can see it creates both arms for me, which is really, really useful. Holding down control will produce symmetry, so you'll get both either side. Now with both of them selected, if I hold down control again and press thumb, it will create a thumb both, side, both sides. And I'm just gonna select the arms and, oh, the left arm and right arm again. Then I'm gonna hold down shift and control this time. What the shift does is means that it creates the child object, the other finger, without deselecting the arms. So if I keep clicking finger, there we go, I now have five fingers and one thumb, marvellous, under my arms. Go back to the spine to be able to create the legs, and once again, hold down control, click leg, and boom, there we go. This was incredibly fast. Okay, I'm not gonna go through adjusting the rig yet, I'm gonna do that in another video. This one, I'm just going to explore the options that are available to you in this character rig. Okay, and that sort of thing is to do with um, the fingers and the toes and that sort of stuff. Once you've done building your rig, again, I'm not going to adjust or bind it to anything. I just want to explore how the rig works in this. If I'm going to click on animate. That means I can no longer add any more joints or anything like that to it. I can always go back and go to build if I ever want to, but for the moment I'm going to go to animate, and this is what gives me links to some of the more complicated things. So with my controller selected, I'm going to make sure I'm on controls, because this will show a whole host of stuff that you are going to have access to, which for the hands specifically is to do with the fingers. So each of them has been numbered and named, and it means that you can control its bend, you can control its curl, and you can control how much it splays out. So if you want the fingers all to splay out in much more, you know, in much bigger directions, you can control how that goes so that, oh dear, bend his finger backwards. You can spread those fingers out much more. There we go, I think I've just done the Vulcan symbol for peace and long life. Or you can curl those fingers round and that means that you've got um, a fist of some sort, or maybe he's doing the A-OK. -okay. You know, it's really, really easy to control all of those little components. And that's what this rig gives to you. It gives you the controllers. It gives you the ability of moving stuff. If I just move my arm controller, oh, um, you know, using my rotate tool, you've got, things like that, if I use all of the arms 
okay you can move them in that fashion now I could have done IK which would have saved me this trouble and I'm going to go through what IK is a little bit more when I do the advanced biped but this is what we call forward kinematics so in order to get the arm where I want I have to rotate each of the joints individually to get them into a different position in verse kinematics I will go through when I do the advanced biped in a second but the legs are going to be uh, IK because that's just the way they're created you can see that that's really different rather than having to rotate the leg up then bend the knee down all I need to do for IK is to move the foot and the knees and leg bend well the knee bends if the legs bending something's gone very wrong um, and it moves up and down it's really useful and again you've got the controls over here for foot roll which will move that foot up and foot down. You've got toe wiggle, so toes up and down. You've got the ball joint, which means it will just go up on the ball of the foot. You've got the toe, so it will lift up from the front of the toe. And then you've got the heel lift, which means it will lift from the base of the heel. And all of that is already pre-programmed into Cinema 4D's little character builder for us. We've got access to its uh, knee poles which means that you can choose uh, which direction your knee is going um, which is really useful if you're doing walk cycles and things like that you've got its head rotation here so you can make sure that it nods up and down or you know shakes from side to side these things are brilliant for anybody that has had to rig from scratch um, will understand that this is wonderfully simple in order to get a really basic and, and quite useful rig out very very fast so I'm gonna select the main character and I'm just going to move him over to the left that's the joy of the character part if you use the root then you can just make him bob up and down and you can see that the useful controls will just make him move in, in that sort of way all of the arm controls go with it the feet controls stay down because they want to be separate but you can make him jump up and down really really quickly so I'm going to create a new character. Um, this one I'm just going to call biped and then, oops, spell it right would be good. And then just press the up arrow, which gets me straight to rename the next one. And I'm just going to call that advanced biped. Marvelous, because that's what I'm going to create now. So we've got the advanced biped template already ready. And I click root. And then we've got the spine IKFK blend which means that you have the ability of controlling whether or not it goes between one and the other when you create it. So then we've got the IK and um, FK only or FK bendy. Um, I think I'm going to stick with the IK FK blend here and I've just created one. Um, it's just going to undo that and then I'm going to hold down shift and control or just control and then click arm and that creates me both. And then I've got both selected so I'm going to create the hands and that creates the hand separately. And then with the hand selected, I'm going to hold down Control and Shift and do a thumb. And again, you've got control whether or not you want IK and more thumbs or IK and more fingers. For this one, I'm just going to go FK thumbs and fingers because it's very similar to the one I've just created. So that creates a thumb either side and then finger, finger, Okay, you can do two, you can do five. It depends on how many, obviously, you want. You know, some characters in animation only have um, three fingers and a thumb because it's easier to animate and it looks a little bit less huge when you get the ridiculous number of fingers. Um, and you can see that instantly we've got all of these controls. If I go back to the spine, I can create myself a jaw again like I did before. If I go back to the spine yet again, I can create eyes this time as well. So holding down control, I've got the two eyes. It allows you to control eyeball movements um, depending on the rig that you, or the model that you have if you're ever going to rig it. But again, it's already there for you, which is wonderful. Clicking on the spine, I've got access to the legs now. So again, holding control, boom, creates two legs. And if you really want, if you want to go absolutely crazy, you've got toes. So holding control and shift, I can create a few toes that it will work its way around those feet. So my poor little character here has got five toes um, but only four fingers. That's fine. It's a very interesting character. 
Marvellous. So instantly, once again, if I go to animate, we've got access to all of its controls. Using the move tool, if I grab that hand controller now, we've got the ability of moving that and the joints move in a way that allows that hand to be rotated and moved up. So I'm only having to worry about that and the rest of the joints figure itself out. As before, if I select one of my little fingers there, um, I've got access to how much it rotates and how much you can get the character to bend if I created, no, I created a forward K, F K, sorry. So I'm gonna have to do that manually. So you can, you know, each rotate each of those. And if I didn't like it, if I wasn't happy with the way that that had been created, I can simply go back to the hand. Let's do it actually. I'm gonna delete all of those by going to the object and then build and I'm gonna select those and delete. I no longer want that. And let's say I want um, IK and morph thumbs and fingers. So I'm gonna create an IK thumb and then I'm gonna create IK fingers. Boom. Now if I go to animate, the hand puts itself back to where it was. I look at the controls and again, there you go. You've got access to all of those controls knuckles, different segments, whether or not you want it to be bent from segment one, segment two, whether or not you want to curl it all in one go, whether you want to scrunch the fingers up so that they're moving up and down the knuckles. This thing is brilliant. Again, if I go down to the feet, you've got wonderful access to all of its knee twists. So you've got access to how much it twists in and out. Again, the foot roll, the ball rock, okay. Um, individual controls, ball and heel and things like that. Now you've got access to a curl, a toe curling moment here where you can move all of its individual toes one at a time. This thing is brilliant, okay? It's got so much stuff in it. It's so varied, it's so helpful. I hope that this little tutorial, this little video, and it gives you some idea of its incredibly powerful video, um, powerful abilities and I will see you in the next video to look at the advanced quadruped.